What's the best dose of prednisone? Is it 20 milligrams like this bottle? Or is it a different dose? I'm Dr. Megan, the prednisone pharmacist. And I'm here to help you not just survive prednisone, but thrive while on prednisone. And I've been asked, so what's the best dose? What dose should I be on? What dose of prednisone would be best for me? And that is a tricky question. So first thing we need to understand is that every single person is taking prednisone for a different reason. Every body is different and every person is a different size. And all of those are factors to consider when dosing prednisone. So when I took prednisone, they gave me one milligram per kilogram. That meant I got 60 milligrams of prednisone to start out with the very first time I took it. What dose did you get? I'd love to know. Comment below what dose you were given at the very beginning. What was the dose you started with? Usually the best dose to start with is a higher dose. Usually we start high and we go lower slowly over time. That's called tapering. Tapering prednisone is necessary because you can't stop taking it just suddenly. But why not just stay on 60 milligrams for the rest of my life? That would make my disease go away, right? Not necessarily. 60 milligrams was good enough to start with, but for me, it got my body got used to it. I got used to the 60 milligrams. It wasn't enough later on. So I had to go on chemotherapy. Other people can start out high and go down and find a dose that's more steady, that is small enough that it, they don't have a ton of side effects, but high enough that it keeps their disease under control. For example, with rheumatoid arthritis, the joints, the fingers, they really hurt sometimes, or maybe the shoulders or the hips, whatever joint hurts, the reason a person will be taking it for rheumatoid arthritis is so that they can move. And a really high dose might get that inflammation gone quickly, but then we'd wanna get the dose lower as fast as we can, because usually the lower the dose, the less side effects. Lots of doctors will say, hey, you know, if you get on a lower dose, there aren't any side effects. There's no risk at being, say, five milligrams or below. And I have to tell you that that's not true. They've done studies and they've found that even under five milligrams, there's an increased risk for infections, osteoporosis, and other complications. So there is no safe dose of prednisone. That's true, no safe dose. Your doctor might say, it's, this is a safe dose, and maybe it's safer. There's a safer dose, right? The higher, the worse, the lower, the safer, theoretically. But if anybody says this dose is safe, there, there's no such thing. It, it's impossible. No matter what dose, if there is a dose, it's not technically safe. So what are you to do, right? You need that prednisone to stay alive, to counteract whatever disease you have. So the, I, the goal is to find the best balance of risks. Now, what risks are there? I'm gonna get a little closer to my screen so I can look at my notes. The risks you might be looking at for high doses include cardiovascular events. That's fancy for heart disease. Cerebrovascular events. That's a fancy word for strokes. Insulin resistance. That's what leads to diabetes. Cushing oil features. That's high, I mean, a round face like moon face, buffalo hump, um, big belly, skinny arms, peptic ulcer disease. That's um, having like a, a hole in your in your lining of your GI tract that is very painful and makes it hard to eat. Um, myopathy, that is painful muscle loss. Um, mood disorders, depression, anxiety, and anything change in your mood. Just being a different person, feeling different. All of those can happen on high glucocorticoid doses, like high doses of prednisone. Psychiatric disorders, sleep disorders. De insomnia is huge on high doses. Um, and avascular necrosis. That is bone death, joint death, like in the shoulder or in the hip bone, that ball socket. 
Next is, what are the side effects on high doses over a long period of time? Those include a lot of the same things, cardiovascular events, bacterial and opportunistic infections. So bacterial infections might be sepsis, like your whole entire body is infected, or an opportunistic infection might be herpes zoster coming back, like getting cold sores, or maybe having um, like when you're, uh, shoot, what's it called? Shingles, and it's an incredibly painful rash, um, or tuberculosis, those are all possibilities. Insulin resistance again, Cushingoid features, that moon face, weight gain, oh, of course, the weight gain. 70% of people on prednisone gain weight. Dyslipidemia, that means like high cholesterol. Glaucoma, that's a side effect in the eyes that can be permanent. And osteoporosis, that's the bone loss that can also be permanent. It um, can lead to joint um, damage. It can lead to bone breaking spine compression fractures, and you don't even feel it. That's what's crazy about that osteoporosis from prednisone, is you might not even feel it. It's just suddenly you've lost a, a half an inch in height out of nowhere. All right, then what about cumulative dose? So maybe you're just on five milligrams for 50 years. What can happen? What are the side effects for that? We're back to cardiovascular events. So long-term side effects of prednisone definitely include heart problems. Um, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, insulin resistance, back to getting us to diabetes, skin thinning and bruising. So um, people often notice stretch marks, um, these weird bruises that don't, aren't painful, it's just the skin is just breaking. Um, hypertension, again, high blood pressure, and osteoporosis and vertebral fractures. Again, that's the spine compressing. Sleep disorders, long-term insomnia, and avascular necrosis. So those were the things that can happen with just a long-term, lots of, of prednisone over a long time. Whether it's five milligrams for 50 years or 50 milligrams for a year, it's a lot of medicine that is a huge burden for your body to deal with. And so, what is the best dose of prednisone? If no matter what you do, you're gonna get side effects. Well, the question is always, with every decision you make medically, do the benefits outweigh the risks for you? And this is only a decision you can make with your doctor, with all of the information, knowing these side effects for long-term cumulative doses, high doses, and your condition. And if your condition is really terrible, like mine, I was potentially going to bleed to death. If you can't breathe or you can't get out of bed on your own to use the bathroom by yourself, these are all good reasons to take prednisone. That, in those situations, to me, for my personal calculus, that benefit outweighs the risks in that situation. Yes, there are risks, but there are actually a lot of risks for not being able to get out of bed. You're much more likely to get pneumonia and um, constipation and all sorts of other things. And so whatever you're doing, there's going to be a risk. So it's always finding what is the best balance of risks and benefits for you. And so you need to gather the data gather all of the side effect information, gather all of the benefit information. A lot of people I talk to aren't really fully aware of either of those things. I will talk to people who are like, I wish I'd never taken it because the benefits aren't there for me. Like this lady, she just had like a, a swollen throat and her doctor's like, Here, here's some prednisone. And she's like, I don't know. And she did some research and found out that just high dose ibuprofen over the counter would accomplish the same thing. And I was like, yes, that is the best benefit to risk ratio for you. Taking pre prednisone is a lot more dangerous than taking ibuprofen. Ibuprofen has lots of risks too, but there are a lot more risks. There are 150 side effects to prednisone. And so she decided not to take the prednisone and instead to take the ibuprofen. And so 
you want to find what are the actual benefits you can anticipate. For me, it was not bleeding to death. For you, what is it? What is that benefit? Is it worth it to run all of these risks that I just mentioned? Because it, it probably is. It's probably worth it if your doctor prescribed it. But if you're not sure, then you need to have a conversation. You need to take your health into your own hands and ask, do these benefits outweigh the risks for me in my situation? For me, that changed over time. At the beginning, it was clear. 60 milligrams of prednisone was a risk that I needed to take because I had no platelets. That clotting little cell that your body needs so that you don't bleed to death. Prednisone saved my life and that was vital. But over time, my body built up a resistance to it. My immune system stopped listening to prednisone. I had to resort to chemotherapy. <coughs> so over time, this can change. And so this is a conversation you need to keep having. You need to keep learning, listening to your body, deciding, does this make sense for me today? It made sense for me last year. It made sense for me last month. But today, is this still making sense? Are there any other options? Always ask your doctor, are there any other options? For some conditions like polymyalgia rheumatica, there really aren't any other options. Prednisone is pretty much it. And so knowing that, you can walk into this calculation knowing that yes, not having excruciating pain that lead, leaves you bedridden is worth it. Living a life is worth it for you. And you can have peace knowing, you know, I've made this decision with my eyes wide open that I know I'm going to suffer these side effects, but it's worth it that I know I'm going to have moon face, but that's a battle scar that you are taking a medication that is so harmful, so poisonous with so many side effects that you're willing to take that risk because you know it's worth it to you. So have you had this conversation? Do you know if the benefits outweigh the risks for you? And if you don't know that right now, I'd encourage you to figure out what exactly are the benefits and what exactly are the risks in your situation, at your dose, at your length of time you've been on it, your cumulative glucocorticoid exposure, your, your over time amount of prednisone you've been taking. And if you're wondering, do the benefits truly outweigh the risks? I felt that same way. And that is why I invented Neutronize zone because I knew that if I had this That it could change that calculation for me because it gives back So many vital things that can tilt the benefit risk of, of the calculation into my favor into the benefits outweighing the risks because it gives back calcium I, I mentioned osteoporosis across all of these you have a higher risk of osteoporosis because of taking prednisone. And so this gives back calcium and vitamin D. Also, it has chromium picolinate. That is vital for proper insulin balance, for using the sugar in your blood that prednisone is spiking and leading to diabetes. If you don't have enough chromium, it's hard to get the right balance. And so this gives back the chromium that prednisone is stealing. There are so many other amazing benefits that you can get when you try Neutronize Zone along with prednisone. The combination is a match made in heaven. I invented it because I was suffering so much while taking prednisone and I needed a way to find the balance of benefits and risks that was worth it for me. This is what you can take to make the benefits outweigh the risks for you so that when you take prednisone, you're walking into it knowing these benefits are worth it because I'm giving this back to have less risks, to feel better while on prednisone, to not just have these magical potion coming in, but to, to actually truly feel better. There are tons of five-star reviews that you can check out on Google, on my website, on Neutronize.com. 
people who've taken it for so many different reasons, for polymyalgia rheumatica, for rheumatoid arthritis, for neuromyelitis optica, for lupus, for ITP, for, oh, I can't even think of them. There's so many reasons people have had to take prednisone and needed this to give it back, give back what prednisone has been stealing so they can feel well and have the best balance for them. That's what I want for you. That's why I created this. That's why I come every week without fail here to share my message of hope with you that even though there are so many risks, the benefits are amazing. They're a miracle. And you can have more benefits when you take Neutronize Zone with your prednisone. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.